uh, Chief Justice of the High Court of Balochistan, Honorable Mr. Justice Naim Akhtar Afghan, to make his comments before the speech. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am thankful to Honorable Chief Justice, Supreme Court of Pakistan, for this opportunity to take this August gathering to the inspiring journey of 75 years of judiciary in the province of Balochistan. With reference to the theme of the conference as well as theme of the session, my Lord, I will take liberty and permission for my Lordship. The organizers have given me in writing 15 minutes time, but orally they have told me to curtail to 10 minutes. I think it will not be possible for me because I have to travel and take this August getting to 75 years of journey and I will have to travel with the speed of light. So, my, my Lord, I'm sorry for a few audiences who are in deep sleep. They will not be able to travel with me. And those audiences who are awake and alert, so let's fasten the seat belts and let's start the journey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, very few people know about Balochistan in Islamabad, so I will take you to Balochistan with a very thorough probe and information with reference to the judicial development which the Balochistan has made so far in 75 years. On 14th August 1947, when Pakistan came into being, we were having British Balochistan, comprising of the areas falling in the following present districts, Quetta, Pasheen, Chaman, Job, Kila Abdullah, Loralai, Musa Khel, Bar Khan, Sanjavi, Muslim Bagh, Kila Saifullah, Bolan, Sibi, Kachi, Nasirabad, Harnai, Kohlu, Dera Bukti, and Chagi. At that time, Tasil Dal Bandin, Musa Khel, Bori, Bar Khan, Sanjavi, Job, Muslim Bagh, Kila Saifullah, Kohlu, and Mari Bukti areas were tribal areas. Apart from the above areas of British Balochistan, we were also having states of Kalat, Mekran, Kharan, and Las Bela. In March 1948, the feudatory rulers of the above four states signed instrument of accession of their states with dominion of Pakistan. In British Balochistan, the judicial functions were performed by the judicial commissioner appointed by the governor general with the assistance of small cause courts under Act of 1887, as well as district judges and courts of subordinate judges under British Balochistan Court Regulation 1939. In the four states of Kalat, the disputes were resolved by Jirgaz, as well as by the Qazis appointed by the feudatory rulers. The disputes of non-Muslims in those states were resolved by Panchayat. The criminal cases in British Balochistan and tribal areas were adjudicated upon under the provisions of Frontier Crimes Regulation 1901, commonly known as FCR. But same was not applicable to the areas comprising of railway lines and railway stations, municipality, municipal areas, cantonment areas, larger towns, bazaars, and administration headquarters, which were called A areas. The remaining areas were called B areas. On 11th April 1952, the rulers of Kalat, Mekran, Kharan, and Las Bela states formed Balochistan States Union with Khan of Kalat to be lifelong khan -e azam of Union. For Balochistan States of Union, Dastur Amal Diwani Kalat 1952, Kalat Penal Code, Kalat Criminal Procedure, and Kalat Kanuni Shahadat were enacted in 1952. In January 1955, Khan-e-Azam of Kalat 
and rulers of Makran, Lasbela, and Haran executed agreement with Governor General of Pakistan for merger of Kalat, Haran, Makran, and Lasbela states with Dominion of Pakistan. On 3rd October 1955, the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan promulgated West Pakistan Act 1955 for integration of all the provinces, including British Bulistan and all the states, including Bulistan States Union, into West Pakistan. By virtue of Section 7 of the West Pakistan Act 1955, High Court for the Province of West Pakistan was established by replacing High Court of Lahore. Chief Court of Sindh and Judicial Commissioner Courts of NWFP and Balochistan. Chief Justice High Court of Lahore was declared as Chief Justice of the West Pakistan. The High Court of West Pakistan was regulated by the High Court of West Pakistan Establishment Order 1955. The High Court of West Pakistan was having principal seat at Lahore and benches at Karachi and Peshawar. By virtue of West Pakistan Adaptation and Repeal of Laws Act 1957, different existing laws were made applicable to the province of West Pakistan. Except Dasturul Amal Diwani Kalat, the remaining three laws in the states, four states which I have mentioned earlier, were repealed by the Central Law Statute Reforms Ordinance 1960. On 8 January 1962, Civil Court Ordinance 1962 was promulgated for the province of West Pakistan, whereby the British Bulistan Court Regulation 1939 was repealed. By virtue of Civil Court Ordinance 1962, the courts of district judge, additional district judge, and civil judge were established in the province of West Pakistan. FCR stood repealed from British Bulistan except tribal areas, while West Pakistan Criminal Law Amendment Act 1963. On 18th March 1965, Quetta and Kalat Civil and Criminal Law Ordinance 1965 was promulgated for settlement of civil disputes and speedy trial of offences in the divisions of Quetta, Kalat and certain other areas of West Pakistan. In modification of the above ordinance, West Pakistan Ordinance 1 of 1968 and West Pakistan Ordinance 2 of 1968 were promulgated for decision of civil as well as criminal matters. Under these two laws, the proceedings were conducted by a tribunal consisting of a government official not below the rank of Naib Tashildar as president of the tribunal and its four other members who were to be appointed by the deputy commissioner concerned, keeping in view their integrity, education and social status. On conclusion of proceedings by the tribunal, the tribunal used to submit its report to the deputy commissioner concerned who had to pass a decision and decree upon the same and his decision was appealable before commissioner of the division and revision against the said order was provided before member board of revenue. Ladies and gentlemen, on 1st July 1970, the province of West Pakistan was dissolved by province of West Pakistan dissolution order 1970 and provinces of Balochistan and WFP, now KPK, Punjab and Sindh were constituted with the centrally administrated tribal areas as well as the centrally administrated area of Islamabad capital territory. In pursuance of High Court Order 1970, the High Court of West Pakistan ceased to exist and Peshawar High Court for NWFP province with principal seat at Peshawar, Lahore High Court for the province of Punjab and Islamabad capital territory with principal seat at Lahore and a high court for the provinces of Balochistan and Sindh called the Sindh and Balochistan High Court with its principal seat at Karachi was established. Subsequently, in pursuance of Balochistan and Sindh High Court Order 1976, High Court of Balochistan with its principal seat at Quetta for the province of Balochistan and High Court of Sindh with its principal seat at Karachi for the province of Sindh were established. Honorable Justice Khuda Mari was the first Chief Justice of the High Court of Balochistan with Honorable Justice M.A. Rashid and Honorable Justice Zakaullah Lodi as judges of the High Court of Balochistan. On 5th December 1976, Balochistan Civil Dispute Shariat Application Regulation 1976 was promulgated 
for adjudication of civil disputes according to Muslim Sharia laws in the tribal areas of Balochistan by the courts of Qazis and appellate courts of Majlis Shura consisting of not less than two members. White order dated 5th September 1979 passed by High Court of Bulustan in the case of Molvi Mohammed Isaac Khosti versus Government of Bulustan, PLD 1979, Quota, page 217. FCR was declared as a bad law by reason of its repugnancy with the injunction of Islam as laid down in the Holy Quran and Sunnah of Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. In the light of above judgment, by virtue of Regulation No. 2 of 1979, Dated 15 October 1979, FCR was repealed in Bulustan and provisions of Ordinance 2 of 1960 were made applicable to the tribal areas of Bulustan for adjudication of criminal disputes. Wide notification dated 23rd June 1988, issued by Government of Bulustan, West Pakistan Ordinance 1 of 1968 for civil disputes was withdrawn from the areas wherever it was applicable and jurisdiction of civil courts ordinance 1962 was extended in those areas. White judgment dated 23rd January 1989, passed by three member bench of the High Court of Bulustan in the case of Muhammad Anwar Durrani versus province of Bulustan, PLD 1989, Quetta 25. Dissolution of Provincial Assembly of Bulustan by the then Governor of Bulustan in exercise of powers under Article 112.1 of the Constitution was declared without lawful authority and of no legal effect, and the Bulustan Provincial Assembly was ordered to be restored. White judgment date is 16 August 1990, passed by High Court of Bulustan in the case of Bulustan Bar Association versus Government of Bulustan, PLD 1991, Quetta, page 7, West Pakistan Ordinance 2 of 1968 for criminal procedure was declared void, being inconsistent with the provisions of Constitution of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. After promulgation of Criminal Law, Second Amendment, Ordinance 1990, Criminal Law, Fifth Amendment, Ordinance 1990, and Criminal Law, Amendment, Ordinance 1991, whereby the offenses affecting human body from Section 299 to Section 338 in PPC were substituted by new sections in order to bring them in conformity with the injunction of Islam as laid down in the Holy Quran and Sunnah for trials whereof amendment was also made in CRPC, making them tribal by the Court of Session and Magistrate First Class. In pursuance of judgment dated 28 August 1991, passed by the High Court of Bulustan, in the case of Azizullah Maimon Advocate versus Pakistan, PLD 92 Quetta, page 1, for the first time, on 19th May 1992, four judicial magistrates were appointed in the province of Bulustan, and judicial powers were withdrawn from the executive magistrates. White 25th Amendment in the Constitution of Islamic Republic of Pakistan on 5th June 2018 and due to omission of Article 247 and Amendment of Article 246, the tribal areas of Bulustan stood merged in the province of Bulustan due to which Civil Court Ordinance 1962 was extended in the areas where itlaq e Sharif Regulation 1976 was previously applicable for adjudication of civil disputes. In February 2020, a committee comprising of Mr. Justice Jamal Khan Mandokhel, the then Chief Justice High Court of Bulustan, Mr. Justice Muhammad Kamran Khan Mullakhel, Mr. Justice Nazir Ahmad Lango, and Mr. Justice Rosie Khan Badech formulated the High Court Establishment, Appointment and Conditions of Service Rules 2020, which were promulgated on 10th February 2020. The above committee also formulated the Bulustan District Judiciary Act 2021, which was promulgated on February 16, 2021. The Bulustan Judicial Officer Service Rules 2021 and Bulustan District Judiciary Service Rules 2021 were also formulated by the above committee and same were promulgated on 21st April 2021. The above committee also formulated Bulustan District Judiciary Staff Service Rules 2021 and same were promulgated on 5th August 2021. White judgment it is 16th December 2020 passed by five member bench of the High Court of Bulustan in the case of Kashif Kakar Panizai versus Government of Balochistan, different provisions of DHA Quetta Act 2015 with regard to notified, controlled, and specified areas were declared ultra virus 
to the Constitution of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. White judgment dated 18th March 2021, passed by five member bench of the High Court of Bulustan in the case of Sher Zaman and others, the long standing dispute of unsettled land in the province of Bulustan was resolved. Judgments passed by the High Court of Bulustan in public interest litigation have resulted into execution of numerous development projects which are beneficial for the public at large of Bulustan. Transparency and competence, competition in procurement process for different projects worth billions by government departments were ensured by the judgments passed by the High Court of Bulustan. Ladies and gentlemen, Bulustan is facing issue of missing persons. Me and my brother judges have dealt with cases of missing persons in different constitution petitions. And in some cases, success was achieved when on issuing notices to the law enforcement agencies, the missing persons surfaced and reached their homes. But despite providing opportunities, they showed reluctance to appear before the court for recording their statements to point out the responsible persons to make them liable for the consequences. Article 4 of the Constitution provides right to every citizen to be dealt with and treated with in accordance with law. Article 10A of the Constitution states that for determination of the civil rights and obligations or in any criminal charge against him, a person shall be entitled to a fair trial and due process. Ladies and gentlemen, it is high time for all the institutions to attend and resolve the issue of missing persons. For administration of justice, the concerned law enforcing agencies should analyze the reasons of poor investigation and failure of prosecution at the trials. The High Court of Bustan has also followed the concept of justice at the door by establishing courts in every nook and corner of Bulustan. Presently, we are having 28 session divisions throughout Bulustan where 207 presiding officers are dispensing justice and they are confronted with 15,894 civil and criminal cases throughout in Balochistan. The sanction strength of the judges of the High Court is 15 now, out of which 14 honorable judges are working and they are confronted with 4,120 cases at the principal seat, 565 cases at circuit bench of CB, and 395 cases at circuit bench Turbat. The circuit bench CB and circuit bench Turbat also have the video link facility, Circuit bench Khuzdar and circuit bench Lorlai are yet to be made functional. Role of information technology cannot be denied in administration of justice. High Court of Bustan has also made remarkable achievement in adopting information technology for administration of justice. It has a bilingual website with state-of-the-art features providing transparency and relevant data to the honorable judges, advocates, litigants, as well as the general public. Our monthly disposal ratio in the high court as well as in the lower court is always higher than the institution. The high court of Bustan has also made remarkable achievement in field of infrastructure development by establishing new courts complexes with residence of, for judges in 31 cities and presently 20 court complexes with residences for judges are at final stages of completion in different cities of Bustan. The building of high court circuit bench Turbad is under construction. High Court of Bustan has provided e-libraries to the legal fraternity in all the session divisions, subscription whereof is borne by the Office of the District and Session Judge Concerned. High Court of Bustan has also established a judicial academy where on-job training is imparted to the presiding officers of the district judiciary, prosecutors, investigating officers, and lawyers. Ladies and gentlemen, all the above and numerous landmark judgments passed by different benches of the High Court with the able assistance of the lawyers of Balochistan, reveal of the success of Balochistan judiciary for administration of justice, maintaining rule of law, and upholding the supremacy of the Constitution. In the end, I have been issued warning cards, sorry. In the end, I humbly bow to the Almighty Allah with prayer to grant us wisdom, sagacity, strength, and courage to take the sacred institution of judiciary to new heights by dispensing quick justice and upholding the constitution of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Ameen. Thank you very much. Pakistan, Zindabad. Thank you. Thank you very much.